the next session of finite element analysis. In this session, I am going to solve a derivation of quadrilateral element with 9 nodes. This is the quadrilateral that is given to me. This is in rectangular coordinate system again. I will be transforming this into natural coordinate system and then solving it. So I will first convert this into natural coordinate system. Now I will be marking all the nodes first. So you can see I have drawn this quadrilateral in natural coordinate system. Here I have marked all the nodes from 1 to 9. 9th one is 0, 0. So I will start with calculation of 5, 1. The procedure is the same as that of 8 noded quadrilateral. So I will start with 5, 1. 5, 1 term vanishes along. Now here we are supposed to take 4 lines. So you need to remember that. First node will appear along 1, 2 and 1, 4. So I cannot take these two lines. I will take line 2, 3, 3, 4 and I will take these lines 6, 8 and 5, 7. In these two lines also node 1 does not appear. So I will start. So the equation of this line you know by now. Zeta is equal to 1 or 1 minus zeta is equal to 0. Next, I'll go for line 3, 4. Here the equation of line is eta is equal to 1 or 1 minus eta is equal to 0. Next, I'll go for the third line that is 6, 8. So when you look at this line 6, 8, you can see eta is 0 everywhere. So I will write down eta is 0. And anyways, you know that along x-axis y is 0 and along y-axis x is 0. But I am still showing you this kind of a method again. Equation of line 5, 7 is zeta is equal to 0. So we will write down. Let phi 1 is equal to a into 1 minus zeta, 1 minus eta and I have eta and zeta. At node 1, my phi 1 will be 1 and eta and zeta both will be minus 1. Therefore, 1 is equal to a into 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1. I have minus 1, minus 1. Therefore, A is equal to 1 by 4. So, when I substitute in this equation, I get therefore, phi 1 is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 minus zeta, 1 minus eta, eta into zeta. Now, let me bring these terms to the fourth. So, I get zeta, eta by 4 into 1 minus zeta, 1 minus eta. This is my phi 1. If you want, you can calculate phi 2, phi 3, phi 4. They will hold the same method of solving. And if I don't want to solve each of them, I'm just writing similarly. I'll show you the technique now. So when I have three terms, I'll write the same method. It, zeta, eta by 4 for all three of them. Then I'll have two brackets with relation of 1 zeta and 1 eta each. Now comes the turn of writing the signs. Here you can see there is a positive sign. Remember that the signs over here appear positive negative alternately. Next comes these signs. Now these signs are very simple. We will take them up from the vertex coordinates. This is minus minus. I have your plus minus, I have plus plus and minus plus. So this is how you can write down for phi 2, phi 3 and phi 4. Next I will go for calculation of phi 5. Whatever is applicable to phi 5. Same method is applicable to the node 6, 7 and 8. Phi 5 term vanishes along first one is line 2 3 
Second will be line 3, 4. 1, 4 is also one line in which I don't have this node 5 appearing. Now if you observe, 6, 8 is one line I can use, but I cannot use 5, 7 because this contains a node 5. So I will be taking up 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 4 and 6, 8. So let me quickly write down their equations. So these are the lines with their equation. So I'll write down let 5, 5 is equal to a into 1 minus zeta, 1 minus eta. Here I have 1 plus zeta and I have eta. So I know at node 5, 5, 5 is 1 and zeta is equal to 0, eta is equal to minus 1. Let me substitute in this equation. Therefore, 1 is equal to a into 1, 1 plus 1, 1 and this is minus 1. Therefore, a is equal to minus 1 by 2. When I substitute this here, I get therefore 5, 5 is equal to minus 1 by 2, 1 minus zeta, 1 minus eta, 1 plus zeta and eta. So, let me take this term to the fourth. I get minus eta by 2. These two terms will combine to form 1 minus zeta square and this remains as 1 minus eta. So, this is my 5, 5. Similarly, I'll write for node 6, 7 and 8. Now, look here carefully. Here I have eta by 2. The trick is here I'll have zeta by 2, eta by 2 and zeta by 2. So, they appear alternately. Again, I'll have two brackets with relation of 1 zeta and 1 eta. Now, I have to fill up the signs. So, this is minus. I have plus, minus, minus. The same trick which I told you in the 8th node quadrilateral element. Here I have minus, plus, minus, minus. Then here I have a negative sign and another negative sign appears at this position. So, this is something which you need to remember. Now, one more node remains that is node 9. Phi 9 term vanishes along. Now, if you look at this node, it is at the center. So, these four covering lines 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4. 1, 4. These are the 4 lines along which 9th node will not appear. So, I will quickly write down their equations. So, these are the equations of line. So, I will write down let phi 9 is equal to a into 1 plus eta, 1 minus zeta, 1 minus eta and 1 plus zeta. At node 9, phi 9 will be 1 and zeta is 0, eta is 0. When I substitute, I get 1 is equal to a into 1, 1, 1, 1. So, my value of a is 1. When I substitute here, I get therefore, phi 9 is equal to 1 into 1 plus eta, 1 minus zeta, 1 minus eta and 1 plus zeta. Now, here I can combine these terms together. So, I get 1 minus zeta square, 1 minus eta square. This is my phi 9. So, I have calculated the shape function for all the 9 nodes. With this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the derivation. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.